hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is evidence and in today's video i'm going to show you how to do exploratory data analysis with just one line of code so we are going to do this used using something called pandas profiling okay and this right here is instructions of how to do it so this is a markdown and i want to show you guys this real quick if you are in python notebook inside visual studio code once you click on this it will create a new cell below but if you cl click on this m button it takes whatever you have and turn it into a markdown so and you could edit this if you want to so if i add a double star here that will turn this from asterisk into bold. As you can see, that works. So that is how you convert something from a regular code into a markdown in Visual Studio Code Jupyter Notebook. And if you don't have Pandas profile and already installed. This is the instruction of how to install it. If you want it um in your local computer, just use pip install pandas profiling. And if you want it on Anaconda, use conda install this this line of code right here. And I'm working with my Anaconda based environment. So that was just a preamp to let you know you have to actually install pandas profiling before you can use it so with that being said let's get started so first thing is import pandas this is assuming you already have pandas already installed as pd and then import pandas profiling and let's go ahead and run this cell shift enter runs the cell and creates a new cell below it and now let's um, load our data. So let's just call this data. If we use pd.readcsv to load the data. And now we have to find the location of the data. So the data is right here in the same folder that my Python notebook is located in. So that makes it easier. And I'm going to put this in a string format. And I'm going to run this and just to verify that everything is done correctly, I'm going to do data.head and the data is correctly loaded. So to get to, to do exploratory data analysis on this data set or any data set, you can do it manually. Like you can do different techniques manually, but what I found is like once I get a data set and start working on it, I like to use this single line of code to do exploratory data analysis so that I don't have to try different techniques. I can get like an initial general overview of what the data has to say. So to do that, we simply do, let's call this profile. It's equal to pandas profiling dot profile report and in parentheses, you put in the data set that you're working with, your data frame. And in this case, the data frame is data. And this pandas profile report takes time to run. So if you take some time, do not be alarmed. I will just let that run right there. So once it is finished and done running, you can just type in profile. And you see the result. So right here is the result of our exploratory data analysis, pandas profiling report. Okay, and from here it gives an overview of the data set. And you can see um different things about the data set from the answer. It has um seven rows, five columns. It's um you have five numeric rows categoricals 
and usually if there's a problem with the data set it will give you a warning report before it tells you the variables like if there's a lot of missing zeros if there are um, a lot of missing values if there's a lot of zeros in in it if there's a lot of missing values it will tell you all of that information but none of that applies to this data set right now see nothing is rejected if there's high correlation between two columns it will this profile report might reject it you know things like that so it kind of gives you different information about the columns so this is the all beverages column and it tells you it's numeric it tells you how many unique values it has it tells you the mean the minimum the maximum how many zeros it has and then you can do toggle details and you can find out more about um, this particular column and you can go to histogram and see the histogram of that particular column and then you can go to common values and you can view the common values on that histogram and let me make this bigger so you can view different things about your data set and same thing for beer, extreme values, you can view the extreme values in your data set, common values. And once you get to the end of the profile report, you get a heat map that looks like this one. And that shows you um, this first one is Pearson's R correlation heat map. And this is the Spearman's correlation heat map, the candlesticks correlation heat map. <laughs> and the five key and of course you can come down here to see uh, more information and this is usually the last information contained in this profile report and it shows you the first few rows of the sample and the last few rows of the sample so this is like a quick way to do exploratory data analysis and kind of quickly get an idea of what's going on in your data set like do you have high categorical high cardinality values if you have high cardinality values it will let you know if you have a lot of missing values it will let you know if it if you have a lot of zeros it will let you know if you have booleans it will let you know and i'm just going to show you another data set that has a lot more information so you get an idea of the power of this single line of code so i went ahead and imported a new data set this one called life expectancy data and this life expectancy data will really help you get a better idea of the power of pendants profiling all right so now this data is loaded and just to verify that our data is loaded correctly as you can see this is um, the data frame right here and now let's do a pandas profile report on it all right our pandas profile report is done now let's view this as you can see from the onset it tells you many different things about the data so it tells you how many was rejected in this case it has categorical values numeric values it has missing cells, duplicates, this, it doesn't have duplicate rows. It tells you the size. It tells you how many observations, which is how many rows, how many variables. And let's go down. As you can see, it gives you warning about different things. So, for example, this one has missing values. And it tells you um, what percent, how many missing values it has. And it tells you that this column is highly corrected to this column and therefore it was rejected and it, it tells you uh, different things like country it has high cardinality which is it has a lot of distinct different values as 193 distinct values and it tells you different things for example infant death has like 29.8% zeros and this has a lot of zeros too. And it also tells you that um, this one is highly corrected with this column. 99% um, 
correlated and therefore it was rejected and then once you go on to look at the variables individual variables it gives you different details about those variables and then you can click on histogram common values extreme values statistics and then let's say let's go to a categorical value a categorical and see the ones that we are rejected it didn't do any analysis on it ignored for analysis and let's keep, let's find a highly a categorical value like country so country is a categorical value it tells you how much of each value is in there and then if you click on toggle details to tell you common values and to tell you the composition of your categorical values And status is another categorical value. It also gives you details about it. Now, if you go all the way to the bottom, as you can see, the heat map is similar to what you saw before, but of course, a little bit different. Um, under five infant death and under five deaths is highly correlated. That's why you see this big red dot here. Um, the red dot like the more red it is means higher correlation and number of resources and schooling is highly correlated to life expectancy and number of resources is correlated gdp and percent expenditure is correlated and so forth and so on so adult mortality and life expectancy is negatively correlated not positively correlated as you can see it's negative one right here and the lighter it is it just tells you that there's no correlation so let's say hiv aids and what's on here this one is expenditure has no correlation so schooling and population have no correlation you know so that's how you read a heat map so the red means positive correlation and the blue means negative correlation and then the white means no correlation and you can use um, this heat map to kind of give you an idea of how to read it and of course you can view the other heat maps and of course when you come to the end of this you'll be able to see different things different reports for this particular data set and of course you get a snapshot of the first rows and last row so basically pandas profiling is not the answer to all your exploratory data analysis problems but it's really really good and it's really really useful for getting a quick snapshot of what your data is all about and what's happening and from this information you kind of know okay so this is what i have this is what i don't have this is where i'm going to start this is where i need to what needs to be done like if you have a lot of missing values how are you going to deal with it if you have a lot of zeros that are that are supposed to be there then you do nothing about it but if you have a lot of zeros that are not that are not supposed to be there what are you going to do about it you know if you have High coordinative, high coordinality variables like country. How are you going to deal with it? You know. So basically, this gives you a quick snapshot, a quick initial analysis of your data, and of course, you can also quickly find out which columns are highly correlated and which ones are not. So I hope you really like this video. I know when I discovered um, Pandas profile, I was really excited. And since then, whenever I jump into a new data set, a new data frame, a new project, I start with Pandas profiling and kind of get an initial view of what's happening with my data. I hope you really like this video. And if you do, please give a big thumbs up and subscribe and share this video with other people share it with people in the data science community because not everybody is aware of this 
exploited their analysis technique. Thank you for watching. Give it a big thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you again in the future. Bye.